Hey guys, um, I wanted to show you this before. So this was a, I don't know if the video will ever make it out, but I mean, it's kind of cool. I was going for a fire and ice and that's what I'm going to try again tonight. I think it's the, and I talked about it in the video. I don't know, maybe I'll release it at some point. All the things that went wrong with this. Um, but the colors are too, it looks too kind of flag for me, first off. Uh, like red, white, and blue, and then um, my yellow and my orange got lost. <clears throat> I I don't know. I just the the colors kind of are too muted. I didn't use colors that kind of contrast each other enough. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it again, and this time I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do white all over, and then red blown out and blue blown out instead. So we'll see how that goes. So you guys saw the painting that I had. And when a painting doesn't turn out the way that I want, I look at it and I figure out why and I try to make it better. So that's what I'm gonna do this time around. I am using for the base, oh, I just dripped it all over me. I'm using for the base Amsterdam, uh, white titanium white and water only and i've mixed that about 25 percent. so i'm going to blow this and i'll be right let me blow this out and i'll be right back okay um so i have both blow dryers here that i've been using so i bought this little tiny one to see if there would be any difference in blow dryers and on small pores there's really not because it doesn't have very far to go but on larger ones because this, and I called it a condenser the last time, it's actually a concentrator. Because this concentrator is so um, wide, the air kind of disperses. So I might even try putting some tape like right there to have a smaller airstream. Um, but this one, the airstream is super small. So it's like, I need to find the Goldilocks of air concentrators, basically. Um, so I'll be on the search for that. So, okay, I think I'm gonna have this predominantly white. I think what was bothering me about the other one was the blocks of color that were there. It was just, it was too much for me. So I think I'm just gonna blow, maybe in, maybe in diagonals, this way and blow it off this way and here and blow it off that way. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I just came up with this. <laughs> Great to have absolutely no plan going in. My paints are thin because I can see them bleeding into each other, which is okay. And I'm using crimson this time instead of the red that I used the last time to hopefully give it a little bit more contrast. Okay, what did I say? I'm blowing off this way. So I'll come here and blow off this way. I'd already forgotten what I said. I don't know how you guys follow what I'm doing because I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> All right, so let's hope that this one maybe goes a little bit better. I don't know. I'm trying to layer the colors over each other so that when they pass over each other when I'm blowing them out that they'll um, react. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of white there, a little bit of white there, maybe a little bit around just to help it flow a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna start with this blow dryer and see if I can get the reaction I want. Oh, I just got paint all over my face get the reaction that I want, and if not, then I'll use, um, I'll use the other one. So let me see. I'm doing it on low. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to blow this one this way.
Okay, now I'm gonna, so the blow dryer, you have to hold, oh, oh, it's really pretty. You have to hold it, I'm gonna blow a little bit into the center with my mouth, but you have to hold the blow dryer, this blow dryer, very, very close and angle it to push. So, I mean, it's not, it's not the best, you know, in the world for this, but I think if I added a little bit of tape to each side, I think it would be better. Wow. Before I, oh, I don't know if I should show you guys this now or, all right, I'll just blow a little bit and we'll see what happens. Blowing into this white, there's a ton of white in the middle here. I love how that fanned out right there. I kind of want this to touch up here. I love this side. This side has a little bit too much blue. I'm going to put some more white, I think, right here. Like that. Hmm. The colors are still quite shocking to me. So I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't know what to think, guys. You guys, I, you'll let me know. You always do. Like you should have stopped a long time ago, which is normally probably right. A battle of fire and ice. There we go. I like those touching right there. One lady came on the other day and said, you just don't know when to stop. And I said, you're right. <laughs> Can't hurt my feelings. I just don't like this corner, you guys. I don't know what's happening right there. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit more balanced. There we go. Okay. Okay, I think I like it. It is definitely different. Way different for me. Okay, so I'll let this dry and then I'll show you the two of them side by side and you guys can tell me which one, if you like either of them. Um, but let me take you in for a close up. All right, here is, here are all those crazy cells and lacing that came from that Amsterdam white. And then over here on the blue side, you can see the lacing, but again, the blue side just, <sighs> I don't know what it is about the blue side. I might have to fiddle a little bit with it. But yeah, all right, so I'll show you guys when it's dry. All right, guys, I like this one much better, much, much better. I actually like the middle of this one. Um, I still kind of got the white in the center like I wanted on the last one, but I just, this one's a lot more kind of 
I don't know. I, I like this one better. Now, I did read all of your comments, and I may try one more time and put a little bit of gold in the fire and silver in the ice. But I definitely, I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm working with it, and I like this one better. Um, when I was doing it, I thought there wouldn't be any contrast, but I actually like the dark portion here and the light here, and I like how this kind of ended up kind of wispy and kind of fading into the white. I like this red bold part here. Um, my paint maybe have been a little bit thin because I lost a lot of like the white in here, but the lacing still showed up pretty well. And then up here, this yellow and white lacing is just beautiful up there. So, that is the overall look of the piece. And like I said, I may do one more with maybe some gold up there. I don't know, you guys can let me know. All right, thank you guys for watching. Yep, the painting. Bye.